Your Honor, I'd like to poll the jury. What does it mean when an attorney says that they want to poll a jury? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some terrific information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. At the end of a trial, when the jury comes back with their verdict, now the foreperson of the jury stands up, they read the verdict, and now one attorney or the other turns to the judge and says, Your Honor, I'd like to poll the jury. What does that mean? It means that he wants to get a verbal commitment from each one of the jurors that this is in fact their verdict. Now why is that done? It's done because there may be a miscommunication between what one or more of the jurors was thinking compared to what the foreperson announces that the verdict really is. And now, only by asking the jurors in open court, it's the first time we can actually communicate, not we, but the court can communicate with the jurors in our presence, that we can actually hear the verbal confirmation. Yes, that's my verdict, judge. Yes, that's my verdict. Now, if we get to one juror who says, no, 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 that's not my verdict, I didn't agree with it, now we know there's a problem. Now the judge will have to ask questions. Now the judge will have to investigate if it really was not the verdict. And now they put down information on the jury verdict sheet that's incorrect and inconsistent with what all the jurors agreed upon, or five out of the six jurors. Because in New York, we only have to have five out of six jurors on each one of the questions that are being asked. And in these accident cases, or medical malpractice cases, or wrongful death cases, the first question that's typically asked is, did the doctor, did the person who's being sued, were they careless, were they negligent? Did they violate the basic standards of medical care? Only if the answer is yes, they did. Now the jury goes on to the next question, which is the, asking the question about whether or not there is a link between the wrongdoing and the harm and the injury. That's known as causation. There has to be that bridge connecting the two. If the answer is yes, now they get to the point of damages. How much compensation are they going to give to the injured victim or to the surviving family? And there can be many different types of damages. When an attorney seeks to poll the jury, it's simply to get a verbal confirmation from each one of them, one by one by one, that what they said in the verdict that was just read is in fact their true intention of what they meant. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in these civil trials here in the state of New York. You know, I acknowledge and I recognize you're watching this video because you likely have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit, but you have questions that need answers first, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516 487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.